Der Waldgarten als Unterform der Agroforstsysteme bietet ein alternatives System der Lebensmittelproduktion. Es ist ein naturrich System, working like a natural forest, so don't needing any external inputs. No fertilization is needed, since all the green leaves soak up carbon out of the air, store it in the biomass and deliver it as organic matter to soil. Es gibt sehr unterschiedlich designte Waldgärten. Ihr Design entspricht den jeweiligen Funktionen, die sie erfüllen sollen. You know, most people grow forest gardens or food forests for edible crops, for edible plants. Uh, and, um, and that's what this is mostly uh, growing here. But um, some people grow forest gardens for different crops. So I know people growing forest gardens of medicinal plants because they're medicinal herbalists, so those are the crops they need. Um, uh, I know somebody growing a forest garden, all of dye plants, because dyeing cloth is their business. So they need a lot of natural dyes. So you, you can design a forest garden around whatever you want in terms of plant products. Den Designmöglichkeiten sind jedoch durch die jeweiligen Standortfaktoren des entstehenden Waldgartens Grenzen gesetzt. Klare Rahmenbedingungen setzt bereits die beplanbare Flächengröße. It's what diversity in structure you can build and what diversity in species as well. So uh, with, with 1,000 or, or 1,500 square meters, you've got room for some tall trees as well. Uh, when you get smaller than that, it becomes increasingly difficult to fit in tall trees. Natürlich müssen die Spezies eines Waldgartens an das Lokalklima angepasst sein. Hierbei ist jedoch einerseits der Klimawandel, andererseits das waldähnliche Mikroklima des Waldgartens zu beachten. So what's happening is, it gets very, it gets very mild in spring, uh, it gets warm, and things like uh, kiwi vines come into leaf really early here. They can come into leaf at the beginning of March, say. And then you get late frosts, and they can be really damaging. Uh, they can burn all the leaves off. Uh, but these kiwi vines were not affected because of the tree cover around. Die Windrichtung und Stärke vor Ort sind entscheidende Faktoren, die es bei entstehenden Waldgärten zu berücksichtigen gilt. One reason I chose this as a site for this forest garden was it had this strip of conifer trees here as a windbreak to our west. It can get very windy here, so shelter is really important and to be able to start this project with existing shelter was a bonus for me. You know, otherwise I'd have had to grow windbreaks there. Aber nicht jeder Standort hat diesen Bonus durch bereits vorhandene Windschutzbäume. Very first winter we already planted that the row of black elders because it's a wetland species uh, but it's a pioneer tree it loves to grow in sun and can stand wind. In the beginning this was an empty field with strong wind and a lot of exposure and such a line of trees is helping to create shelter uh, supporting wildlife and also partly privacy screen. Doch wie plant man einen guten Waldgarten? Good question. Usually the, the design for a forest garden or food forest, it tends to be top down. So, so you plan the tree layer first and work downwards in your planning and your planting. Der Waldgarten als solcher ist in mehreren Schichten aufgebaut. Die obere und untere Baumschicht, die Strauchschicht sowie die Bodenschicht. Die obere Baumschicht grenzt sich sichtbar von den anderen Ebenen des Waldgartens ab. Hier wird die meiste Biomasse erzeugt und die stärksten Einflüsse durch Beschattung, Interzeption und den Wurzelraum entstehen. Diese Einflüsse können auch als nützliche Güter betrachtet werden. So the crop from those trees you can see there is nitrogen for other plants because they're, they're Italian alder, Alnus cordata, very good nitrogen fixing plants. But that's not the only uh, function they have uh, as the tall tree layer. Um, the tall tree layer also gives extra frost protection, extra wind protection. Für die obere Baumschicht sind bevorzugt Pionierbaumarten wie Erlen oder Birken zu nutzen. You know, one of their ecological roles is to go in on open sites and start transforming them to woodland. Pionierbaumarten verbessern also die Bedingungen für den entstehenden Waldgarten. Uh, increasing the flow of nutrients around, uh, through the soil, 
uh, as well. So, so they have a really important ecological role, so they can really uh, kickstart your forest garden into life. Die obere Baumschicht bereitet also den Boden für die unterstehenden Schichten vor. Below that, the small tree layer. The small tree layer is where most of your fruit trees are. Aber auch Esskastanien und Nussbäume sind klassische Bäume der unteren Baumschicht. And below that, the shrub layer, again with, with common shrub fruits that you'll, you'll see and you'll know, uh, things like currants and uh, gooseberries. But also in the, uh, in the shrub layer are my tree vegetables. So tree vegetables are trees with edible leaves. Essbare Blätter hat beispielsweise auch die in Deutschland heimische Winterlinde oder, wie Martin Crawford sie nennt, Lettuce on a tree. Es gibt auch ungewöhnlichere Tree Vegetables, wie der passend benannte chinesische Gemüsebaum. So if you're, grow if you're growing a tree as a leaf crop, it makes no sense to let that grow, you know, as a 15 or 20 meter high tree with all the leaves up there. Anders als bei anderen Pflanzen im Waldgarten reicht zur Bestandespflege der Gemüsebäume die Ernte alleine nicht aus. Gemüsebäume müssen also im mehrjährigen Rhythmus auf Brusthöhe gekappt bzw. zurückgeschnitten werden, um sie in einer gut beerntbaren Höhe zu halten. And then below the shrub layer, uh, we get down to the ground layer or ground layers. There's often mixtures of plants growing together. Sometimes plants work Uh, best as a single species in a patch. Sometimes perennial plants are very vigorous, uh, you know, don't mix well with other plants. But as much as possible I do try and make plant mixtures down on the ground because they're generally more resilient. Some of my plant mixtures will involve very low ground covering plants that are evergreen and maybe herbaceous plants coming up through them that will die down in the winter. Die Bodenschicht ist auch in der Vertikalen divers ausgeprägt und lässt sich gegebenenfalls in mehrere Einheiten unterscheiden. Es gibt zum Beispiel die essbaren Anteile. One of my favorite um, herbs actually is growing here. It's not, it's not the stinging nettles amongst them. They're not really supposed to be there. It's this plant here, which some of you might know. Um, in English, it's called Sweet Sicily. It's a fantastic flavored herb, a mixture of um, anise and licorice. Die Funktionen der Bodenschicht sind neben der Lebensmittelproduktion auch die Bodenbedeckung. The last thing I want is bare ground. I really want the ground covered with plant growth as much as possible. Natürlich ist die Bodenbedeckung je nach klimatischen Gegebenheiten im Winter schwerer zu garantieren. We have very mild winters here. Some perennial plants that would normally be herbaceous and die down in the winter are staying evergreen. Alle Schichten werden von der Kletterschicht verbunden, die wiederum die Baumschicht nutzt, um emporzuwachsen. Most climbers are woodland edge plants. Um, and so um, they're usually fine being in, in a moderately shady place down below and they want to climb up and get into a bit more light further up. Uh, and so that's, I'll use a tree or a shrub uh, canopy to, to help do that usually. Auch in dieser Schicht können Lebensmittel produziert werden. One of my favorite vegetables actually is hop. Um, in terms of eating the shoots on hop, on hop plants, um, has a very long season. Um, they start into growth here at the beginning of April. And you eat them from then onwards right through into August. And you can see here I've deliberately left just a few branches, low branches on this alder tree uh, for the hop to grow up into, something to cling onto. And there's flowers, there's some hop flowers further up. Aber nicht alle Pflanzen der Kletterschicht sollten sich uneingeschränkt ausbreiten. I do do some control on ivy. It's a great wildlife plant, it's a great bee plant. So I don't mind ivy to an extent, but what I don't want is it going along the branches of the trees. Because then, because ivy is evergreen, uh, in winter storms, you get branches breaking off. Aufgrund ihrer engen Interaktion mit den tragenden Pflanzen lassen sich Kletterpflanzen auch indirekt pflegen wie zum Beispiel die winterharte Kiwi-Beere. Shrub climbers like kiwi vines, like grape vines, you know, they're really, really vigorous plants. And um, uh, it's not really a good option just to plant one in a forest garden and do nothing. They will find the biggest tree around, you know, for example, one of those conifer trees, and they'll climb to the top and they'll fruit up there somewhere. Folglich müssen sie regelmäßig zurückgeschnitten werden. 
And when I pollarded the limes, I also pollarded the kiwi vines. Um, and then they've both grown together. And as the kiwi vine's been growing, I've been uh, weaving it uh, into the branches of the tree. So you can see, you can see where I've gone round here, uh, weaving them round into the tree. Wenn man also bei der Planung beachtet, dass wüchsige Kletterpflanzen neben regelmäßig rückgeschnittenen Büschen zu pflanzen sind, erspart man sich eine Menge Arbeit. You know, you're just using what's there, uh, and that works very well. Das natürlich gegebene und die ökologischen Interaktionen von Pflanzenarten sind also für die Planung wichtig. Diese Zusammenhänge im System gilt es im Planungsprozess zu erkennen, zu unterstützen und zu nutzen. Um ein solch komplexes System zu erschaffen, bedarf es einer langfristigen Planung. Everybody has their own schedule for planting forest gardens. It could be five years, it could be three years, it could, whatever. Um, it depends on many things. It depends on the time you have available. It depends on uh, your budget, if you're buying in lots of plants. That could be quite expensive, of course, um, uh, and, and other things like that. But you have to remember that some of the plants you might want in a forest garden actually need some shade. If you start from a really open site and start uh, and want to plant it really quickly, you can't put some things in. So the advantage of taking a few years in planting is that shade starts to develop and then you can put in some shade loving plants there if that's what you want to do. Also taking a few years means you can adapt your underplanting year by year uh, depending on the experience you've had because None of us knows every single thing about this, our site we're working on. And you, you're constantly learning what works really well, what doesn't work so well. And you can, you can change your planting plans, under planting plans year by year, depending on what's happened already. Um, so it's good to take a few years at least in terms of, of under planting, and most people do, of course. Denn um die Beziehungen zwischen den Pflanzen des Waldgartens zu verstehen, braucht es Zeit. Nicht immer ist der Nutzen eindeutig, so wie bei den Pionierbäumen der oberen Baumschicht. They are great trees. They give shelter. They produce organic matter. They feed insects. Also have nice pollen in spring for the bumblebees and, and, and solitary bees. But we we don't eat from them. And we planted between them our future producing trees. And it can be Korean pine or sweet chestnut or apple or nashi pear or quince uh, and many, many more. And they are slower starting, but they start better with the neighbors in the community of plants, with the pioneer species being helpful. And now we, every now and then, we chop down such a pioneer tree so the total amount of biomass is still growing. The height of the system is growing organic matter is growing, but the species develop from dominance of pioneer species which have their role to play in building of the system, like in a natural forest, to those mid-succession and climax species which give us edible harvests. And this is done with some minor guidance, so it's not a lot of work, it's more like acupuncture, to do the right thing at, at the right moment, then work too hard and too much. So eine sanfte Führung benötigt Vertrauen. Vertrauen in die inneren Vorgänge des Waldgartensystems aus den Beziehungen der Individuen. Diese Verbindungen sind, wie das Myzel der unentbehrlichen Mykorrhiza-Pilze, nicht immer erkennbar. Deswegen ist es manchmal besser abzuwarten und zu beobachten, um die komplexen Wechselwirkungen des Systems zu begreifen. General rule is do nothing. And after many times do nothing, we do something. Hierbei gibt es immer wieder Neues zu entdecken. Über die Jahre verändert sich die Struktur eines Waldgartens kontinuierlich. Um den Waldgarten in der Tiefe zu begreifen, benötigt es alle Sinne. What a, what a 28 year old forest garden feels like because you can't get it out of a book or a video, really. Uh, you have to be in it, really, to, 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 to feel that.